Hello, welcome to Revenant Reads. I'm Vin, and today I just have a very small used book haul. So I stopped by my local Goodwill again, um, and my local Goodwill is an odd place. Uh, most of the time I go in there, I don't find anything. They have a fairly sizable book section, but every so often I go in and I I kind of strike gold. Uh, I find some really good stuff. So I have very small haul here. I just bought three books, but one of them is particularly special for me that I kind of wanted to show. Um, so I'll show that one first. And I found a first edition copy of The Bloody Chamber um, by Angela Carter. Um, it's in pretty good condition overall, except for the over here on the spine, but I, I put some tape on there to, uh, to help it with the dust jacket. But otherwise, the rest of the jacket looks pretty good. Um, this looks like uh, like I said, it's, it's a first edition. At first I thought maybe it was like a book club edition, um, but I don't believe it is at all. It, it, it looks 1979, it says on here, uh, Harper and Rowe. So as far as I know, I think this is actually a, um, a first edition that is in very good, very good condition. Um, and <clears throat> I have not read this before, um, it, but it has been on my list of things I want to read, um, especially because of the short story, The Company of Wolves. Um, and essentially what she's doing in here is um, retelling fairy tales uh, in more of an adult and also sexualized way. Uh, but The Company of Wolves is made into a film that I really like uh, in the 1980s by the same name, The Company of Wolves. Um, it's one of my favorite werewolf movies. Uh, very, very symbolic and whimsical. Um, there's a lot going on inside that film. And uh, we actually, for my uh, the podcast that I co-host, The Horror Cast, um, we had talked about, I think, earlier earlier this year, I think, uh, we did a, a series on werewolves. Um, and that was one of my picks, was uh, The Company of Wolves. And I think it's actually coming out in DVD, no, sorry, Blu-ray uh, from Scream Factory or something like that, too. Um, so I was really happy to find this. Uh, not only a book that I've been wanting to get in the first place, but um, a pretty decent condition hardcover uh, for first edition. So I was really happy about this one. Um... I also just got two other things, um, neither of which I've read yet. Um, I got Stiff, uh, The Curious Lives of Human Cadavers by Mary Roach. Um, I have a couple of her books. I actually have um, a copy of this already, but it's it was a terrible paperback that's like completely washed out um, from the sun uh, that I got from a book sale. Um, so I'm just going to replace that with, with this. Um, this has a little bit of a rip on the uh, on the cover, but otherwise it's in really good condition. Um, so once I unpack my library and I find the the terrible condition paperback, I'll just replace that with this. But this is something that I've been looking forward to reading. And finally, I found this um, one that I didn't know about before, but looked interesting. Uh, I do uh, I'm enjoy reading about Thomas Jefferson. I find him a very fascinating person, a very complicated individual. Um, you know, some somebody who. I admire for some things and I loathe for others, uh, but somebody who I think is definitely worth um, reading and reading about. So this is, um, <clears throat> it says, in Thomas Jefferson's own words, uh, essays on the American ideal, light and liberty, reflections on the pursuit of happiness. Um, so this is actually Jefferson's um, writing uh, that's been edited and about him writing about liberty. Um, so... There's like, you know, are on various subjects. There's sacrifice, uh, seeing good, um, chapter on what he thought of Jesus. Um, you know, he kind of famously uh, created his own Bible, uh, basically excising the miracles and mysticism and supernatural elements of Jesus. And I think he called it the life and moral teachings of Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, so some is a good moral teacher, but not necessarily as, uh, you know, something um, to worship. Uh, but this seemed really interesting, so something I'll, I'll definitely end up perusing uh, at some point. I don't have it high on my list, but one that I want to check out. So anyway, those are the three books that I had picked up. Um, happy to find all of them. So there was uh, The Bloody Chamber by Angela Carter, uh, Light and Liberty by Thomas Jefferson, edited by Eric Peterson, and Stiff, The Curious Lives of Human Cadavers by Mary Roach. Um, if you've read any of these, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And as always, thank you, Booktube.